know, this was on the maybe virtual event side of things. And uh, Scott, can you walk us through some automations for uh, virtual meetings? Right. So another thing that we can provide is uh, connecting to uh, to Zoom meetings as well, which are you know are a little bit of a, a different beast. Um, everyone knows. So sales calls sales calls today are now virtual, uh, and this poses a lot of new challenges. You have no more in-person meetings, you have no more work meals, so it can make it harder to build these relationships. Uh, but with everything virtual, there may also be an important opportunity here as well. Uh, whether they're demos, uh, proof of concepts, or other types of sales meetings, uh, you can record these calls virtually with sales platforms like Gong. But if you don't use a sales platform like Gong, uh, Zoom will also record the meeting uh, and send it to um, uh, its own virtual repository. Now the challenge here is that you have the Zoom recording, you have the meeting notes, uh, as Raina mentioned earlier, uh, but remembering to download the recording and it, or and having the time to upload and share it uh, is challenging and takes time. Uh, so finding ways to send the poll data or meeting notes to your CRM automatically can also save a lot of time. Uh, and by having the information more quickly, you can respond to questions or follow up with sales uh, with customers more quick uh, prospects real time, which helps you build those relationships. So one thing that we've built is uh, an automation that makes past customer meetings much more accessible. Uh, this is similar to the event uh, webinar uh, process flow that Raina just showed. And you can see what uh, what we can do is take the Zoom recording uh, and Wokato will monitor it, monitor it and wait until that Zoom recording is done um, uh, being uploaded and then take that Zoom recording and put it into Box or any other repository like uh, Google Drive. And also, again, put it into uh, your CRM uh, for context. And then also let the AE know that, uh, that, these, that the notes are ready to go in Slack. Or it doesn't have to be Slack. It could be any communication tool like Teams, or it could be an email directly to the AE. Uh, these are not uh, app-specific workflows. And so uh, let's quickly show you a, a demo on how this, how this might work. Um, so in this demo, uh, let's assume you had a meeting, uh, it went well, and then you were able to, um, and then the meeting ended. And so if you're looking at this opportunity, uh, you can see that uh, there's no information here yet because it's a brand new op uh, opportunity. Uh, and then once the meeting has ended, um, you, like if you refresh the page, uh, you'll be able to see that um, the information is now um, has now been pushed. So now this note uh, note has been added to the opportunity itself, and then you can get um, a link to the sales call itself straight inbox, uh, as well as any other meeting notes from the call. So as a sales rep, all this work is taken care of, and all you need to do is just uh, let the right people know, or you could even set an automation to share this with people related to that opportunity directly. So there are a lot of different ways to automate this entire process. Um, right. Um, yeah, and also to ahead. maybe to add on to that, right? Uh, you know, a lot of our customer meetings are kind of happening on Zoom. They're they're whether they're demos or they're, they're POCs. And if you have a sales platform like Gong, um, you're recording your calls and storing them there. Otherwise, you're waiting on your Zoom recording to to finish converting after the meeting, which you know you may forget about as you're working on other tasks. Um, and then you have to remember to upload that recording over to a tool like Box um, or Google Drive, and you have to share that link out. So this is a much easier way to, to ensure that your sales team actually receives the context that they need without having to manually deal with recordings for, for every sales call. 